With a few extra steps and minimal extra labor, mechanically fastened or ballasted PVC roof membranes can be removed and packaged for recycling. Recycling PVC roof membrane conserves resources and minimizes construction materials disposed of in landfills. The vinyl roofing industry has been recycling roof membranes for over 30 years now, with over 200 million pounds of pre- and post-consumer PVC roofing membrane diverted from landfill and recycled into new, useful products. Step 1. The first step in a successful roof recycling project is to have a kickoff meeting with all the stakeholders to discuss the recycling steps, logistics, storage, and handling of the existing PVC membrane. Roofer is to sweep, broom, or blow all loose dirt and debris from the roof membrane and legally dispose of loose debris. Do not put debris down drains or clog gutters. Step two. Load new roof membranes safely onto roof and spread out so not to overload roof. Some roofers find that the cardboard tubes can help with rolling up the existing PVC membrane. Step three. Using a standard utility razor knife, slice the existing PVC membrane. For lap attached mechanically fastened systems, slice PVC roof membrane parallel to and on both sides of the mechanical fasteners and plates to prevent any metal from contaminating the reclaimed PVC membrane. Step four. There are numerous options to package bundle the old roof. We will describe some of the most popular ways. Packaging option one. The rolling method seems to be preferable to both the roofers and the recyclers. What is most important is the membrane is packaged in such a way that it is safe to lower from roof and transport to recycler utilizing fully loaded flatbeds. Some contractors like to tack weld the end of the rolls to keep it from unrolling. Do not use any tape. Rolls of membrane can be positioned and stacked onto the wooden pallets using either a pyramid configuration or a stackable four across method. Pyramid configuration cannot be double stacked on the flatbed. Option two, log cabin method. Cut the existing PVC membrane on the roof in manageable sizes and roll up without cardboard tubes and position rolls in bottom layer all in one direction on top of provided pallets. Start another layer in perpendicular direction on top of the first layer. Continue to stack in cross layers until approaching the pallet weight capability. Option three, cut and stack method. Cut the existing PVC membrane on the roof to match the dimensions of the pallets that will be used. Stack the cut pieces of membrane on top of one another on the pallet to maximize what can safely be put on a pallet weight-wise. Option four, ribbon candy method. Cut the existing PVC membrane into manageable sizes and apply onto the pallet in a ribbon candy configuration. Step five, banding the rolls of membrane to the pallet. In all cases, such as packaging options one through four, secure PVC membrane rolls to pallet using metal bands. Option five, wooden Gaylord method. The roofer builds a wooden Gaylord mostly out of the pallet and plywood provided with new PVC membrane delivered to job site. The roofers cut the existing membrane in manageable sizes, roll up, and position into wooden Gaylords. Option six, reinforced super sack method. Roofer cuts existing membrane into manageable sizes and rolls up without using cardboard tubes. Rolls of membrane are inserted, positioned into the super sacks. Step six. Whatever packaging option is selected, carefully position roof membrane packages so not to overload roof deck or damage new roof system. Safely remove old membrane packages from roof using standard roofing methods such as crane, lull, or telehandler lift. Step seven loading the flatbed. It is important that the flatbed be loaded with as much old roof as safely and legally possible. Maximizing the amount of old roof that goes on the flatbed helps lower the cost of recycling and also impacts the carbon footprint benefit. Step eight. It is common practice for the flatbed driver to tarp the load down for additional protection. It typically takes slightly more labor, no more than three steps, to recycle a PVC roof membrane. Call or visit the CFFA Vinyl Roofing Division website, vinylroofs.org, for more information.